The first factor that determines satisfactory academic progress is a student's attempted versus earned credits. Think about it for a moment. What classes count towards your attempted credits? If you answered all the courses that appear on your transcript, you're correct. The attempted credits are going to be all the classes you've taken, and this is compared against the earned credits, which would be only the courses you've received a passing grade for. You have to have passed 67% of the credits you've attempted to maintain financial aid. So if you look at this example and imagine a student who's taken 40 credits, 67% of 40 would be 26.8. So that student would have to have earned 27 credits to maintain financial aid. The second factor in determining satisfactory academic progress is that a student's GPA is at least 2.0. This is required for graduation from Middlesex County College as well, so it should be easy to remember. Finally, a student must complete their program of study within 150% of the published length of the program. So this means for a 60 credit hour program, a student could take 90 credit hours and still be within the 150% rule.